Congratulations, be happy. Your question got the most likes. Now, you stated in your question that you finally have a FWB, so a friend with benefits, and you've never had one before. You believe that you're an attractive person, and you're wondering, how do you know if a guy wants you in his future or just plain? You don't feel that you have time for this. That statement there alone makes me believe that you're already frustrated. When you say, I don't have time for this, then you're already frustrated with this relationship. That means that you most likely got into this friend with benefits relationship with the objective or the goal of this relate of that being something that is short lived and thereby transitioning into a serious relationship. So it doesn't seem like you actually entered this friend with benefits relationship willingly, as in thinking about it, as in just a friend with benefits relationship. Mo most likely you got into it just based on what you, what you wrote there. I don't have time for this. That tells me that you didn't get into this friend with benefits relationship just for the sake of it. You got into it most likely because you wanted to transition into a serious relationship and you were probably hoping that the friend with benefits stage would not last very long. See, that's where you made a major mistake. You entered a relationship based on something based on basically being a friend with benefit with someone. The problem with that is when you do that, then you've given the other person license to take advantage of the situation or at least be in that friend with benefits relationship without having to without having to think about actually being in a serious relationship because as far as they're concerned you're an attractive person you agreed to get into a friend with friend with benefits relationship with them so as far as they're concerned they're just going to they're going to enjoy being in a friend with benefits relationship they have no need to commit to anything because you started the relationship off like that. So you, you basically got into this relationship, this friend with benefits relationship, thinking, this is what I'm reading from you, just from the way you, you made this statement, thinking that it wouldn't last long. And that's the big mistake that you made. Now, when you're wondering, how do you know if a guy wants you in his future or just playing? Well, you know if a guy wants you in his future, if he's invested in you, if he is seemingly invested in a future with you, you hear him saying stuff like, when we do this and this together um, at such and such time, when we reach this particular goal, you're going to hear him, you're going to get clues from what he says. He's going to basically include you in his future plans. He's going to be invested in your future. Now, you stated that you're focusing in your future, right? So you will notice with a guy who wants you in his future that he would be invested in your future as well. When was the last time this friend with benefits said anything about your future? When, when was the last time he said, oh man, I, I can't wait for you to become whatever it is you're, you're, you're planning to become in the future. Or I can't wait until you achieve that goal that you're trying to achieve. I'll be right there with you. When was the last time he even encouraged you to continue pursuing this this future that you want. I'll bet that he rarely does that. You know, I'll bet that your conversations are usually quite frivolous, not really substantive, just kind of on the surface stuff. And then let's go have sex, right? So that's how you know, that's one of the key signs that you know that a guy wants you in his future. Another sign that a guy wants you in his future is when he he makes when he basically makes sacrifices for you right you will notice that he will put you first in a lot of things like he's going to sacrifice time with his friends or stuff like that here and there when he knows that you need him right he's going to prioritize his relationship with you he's going to even even you you notice that he will sacrifice Things he may love doing just because he knows you're having a really lousy day and he just wants to be there for you. You know, he's going to prioritize his relationship with you. And you will feel that. You will sense it. You will just, 
it's not hard to tell. When a guy is just playing, then he's not committing himself to anything. And a lot of times he may tell you, hey, uh, on Friday we're going to do X, Y, and Z. And then Friday comes around, you're waiting for him to call you so that you can go do X, Y, and Z, and you don't hear from him. You don't hear from him. So you're like, what's going on? So maybe on Sunday you decide to give him a call or text him and go, hey, what happened? On Friday we were supposed to go do X, Y, Z. And he's like, oh, I was hanging out with the boys. Or, oh, sorry. You know, it's it's like... It's almost like it was an afterthought. He, it's almost like he comes off as if he, as if, as if he, he, he didn't really believe or he wasn't really serious about doing X, Y, Z on Friday. So you're going to notice that a lot of times he's not committed to anything, okay? He, he breaks dates easily. He doesn't keep his word. That's how you know he's playing, all right? So you have to decide. You have to decide right now. Since you're focusing on your future, about this current relationship and this guy, and understand that since you got into this relationship, and the way I read it, you got into this relationship thinking that it's not going to last very long as a friend with benefits relationship. It's going to transition to a serious relationship soon enough, and it hasn't. This may not be the relationship for you. Because when you do something like that, when you get into a relationship like that, just get into a friend with benefits relationship, in the hopes that it becomes serious, then all you did was allow the other person to enter the friend with benefit relationship, knowing that they don't have to commit to anything. And if they're not emotionally invested in the relationship, they're not going to give you what you want. And what you want is a future. What you want is a serious commitment. So this relationship may not be the right one for you. And that's something you've got to think about. All right. All right, I hope that helped you be happy. Guys and girls, leave your comments and questions down below. I'll answer the question that gets the most likes from you guys in my next video. Subscribe to the channel, and if you want to ask a private question, click on the link below for a consultation.